Heart transplantation is saving lives every day. Transplantation gives a patient with a diseased heart the opportunity to have a normal heart with a normal life. Dr. John Kobashigawa is the director of the Heart Transplantation Program at the Cedar sinai Heart Institute. He reveals the major innovation in heart transplantation today. One of the biggest innovations in heart transplantation has been uh, immunosuppression or anti-rejection medications. When we started about uh, 30, 40 years ago, everyone had rejection. And if you didn't, we were pleasantly surprised. Today, in our program, only about 5% have rejection. And this is truly because of the advances in uh, understanding of rejection, the mechanisms of rejection, and how we apply these new medications uh, to prevent rejection. Heart transplants are performed when other treatments haven't worked, leading to heart failure. Uh, currently, there are over 5 million Americans that have congestive heart failure, but not all of them need a heart transplant. Only a handful of those that are very ill need a heart transplant, and so far we do about 2,000 heart transplants per year in the United States, but there are many more that are waiting for heart transplantation, in fact, more than double that number that are on the waiting list today. So patients in general have to be very sick, and yet not have any other disease that would limit life expectancy like cancer, for example. Heart transplant procedures are now done on patients old and young. Actually, we do a lot of young patients, and these are patients with congenital heart disease, for example. They were born with defects, and now they're surviving to adulthood, and, uh, but yet their hearts do give out, and we do need to do a heart transplant. There are many patients who have familial cardiomyopathy, in other words, genes that are predetermined to develop end-stage heart disease and they need heart transplantation as well. We will do heart transplantation up to the age of 70. And uh, these are pristine patients, so, so these are select older patients who certainly can do very well with heart transplantation. Dr. Kobashigawa describes the heart transplantation team. Now, heart transplantation is a very specialized surgery. One has to have a very coordinated team. You might imagine, you have to coordinate uh, the donor heart being taken from an outside hospital, coordinating all that uh, time, and donor hearts can only stay out of the body for about four hours, six hours at the most. And you might imagine the longer it's out of the body, it starts to deteriorate. So that's why timing is everything. And so the receiving hospital has to be ready. The uh, recipient has to be in the operating room, chest has to be open, donor heart has to come on in right at the correct time. And so the coordination has to be right there and then the donor heart comes in, and you might imagine, you know, do we have to kickstart it? Do we have to shock it? Actually, as we perfuse it with warm blood, the heart starts to contract. Stronger and stronger and stronger. It's life coming back into the body. It's amazing, and it's a miracle as far as I can see. So these patients do get back to an excellent quality of life. The surgery takes about five hours. A new heart is a new lease on life for most patients. Patients who have heart transplantation can live a normal lifestyle. And in fact, over 95% actually require no assistance whatsoever. We've had patients get back to running marathons, doing triathlons, even climbing mountain peaks. In fact, one of our heart transplant patients climbed to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa in, uh, in remembrance of Dr. Christian Bonnard, who did the first human heart transplant in South Africa. Heart transplant surgery is now very successful. Heart transplantation is now the therapy of choice for end-stage heart disease. It is no longer experimental, mainly because the outcomes have been truly spectacular. Now we're transplanting patients who really would not live for more than a few weeks, or even a few months of that. And now, 90% one-year survival, 75% five-year survival. So certainly these patients are getting truly a second chance at life. Heart transplantation is probably one of the most rewarding uh, surgeries that we have. Nowhere in medicine do you take patients who have literally two feet in the grave. We get them out of the grave, we get them a new heart, and you know what? They walk out the front door. This is amazing. And, and I think that's why we all do what we do in heart transplantation, because of the great rewards and also the patients are so grateful and not only the patients, but their family and loved ones as well.